Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hello from Bedford, everybody. Hi, everybody. As you can see, we're in an old Ames. That's right, and I thought it was appropriate to wear the old Ames shirt today. And if that wasn't enough, we have a Ames shopping cart here. There are several of them around here, so that's not the only one. But the point is, we're here in an Ames that's open. Okay, maybe it's not exactly an Ames anymore, but this place is called Hokey G's. It's a one-of-a-kind store that's uh, it's an indoor flea market and antique mall and they sell all kinds of other odds and ends which we're gonna show you in this video and I say it's one of a kind because it's not like a chain or anything it's family run and it's inside of this old Ames which still uses the Ames carts as well as leaving the aesthetics up on the walls here so with that said let's go walk around an old Ames that's not abandoned but still used and check out the awesome items that they have in here and take a walk down memory lane. Also, something to note, um, I think that stripe kind of matches my hair. It does. <laughs> That's an A+. plus. <laughs> so it's my first time in a Ames. I never thought I'd get to go inside one. As a matter of fact, this is before Ames went to the teal colors. This is back during the red days, back in the early 90s and 80s, before teal was a thing. So I don't know when this one closed up exactly, but the fact that they left that alone is awesome. And the fact that the people that run this awesome store left that alone makes it even better. And you guys got my business. So let's go around this place and check it out. Let's see it. I'm excited to show her and Ames as well as you guys still kind of open. <laughs> and this place, this place feels like I could go on for miles and miles. And it's giant. Mm -hmm. It's insane. So I like this place. Let's do it. All right, there we are at Hokey G's, the old Ames here, which I believe this was an old Murphy's Mart based on the outside of this building. So what are we waiting for? Let's go in and check it out. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. I'll check this out. Right inside the front door. Not wasting any time. Yeah, buddy. How cool is that? Okay, then you go in here. Oh man, block Boston video. What in the heck? <laughs> but here you go. Bradley's carts. Ames carts. Yes, they got a couple here. And then you ready for this one? KB Toys carts. But that's not the best. Here you go. Look at that. When you're in here, now up by the front door, they have lots of holiday and Christmas stuff. Cool enough. As you can see, they have table covers, placemats, all kinds of different things for everyone in here. We're even already celebrating Easter. All kinds of knickknacks, old cups, all kinds of treasures. The old Sunoco racing truck from back in the day. But check out the Ames stripe, like I was telling you. Look at all the music they got in here, too. All kinds of cassettes, CDs, and then we noticed these mugs. We were just in here a week ago, too. All the metal mugs, like the Slayer one, for example. And then, where did I see a Behemoth, Emperor, if you're a metalhead, Opeth. If you're not a metalhead, that's okay, too. Emperor, that's awesome. And tons of records, just in this booth alone plenty but as you can see this store is massive and it still aims all over in it we have all kinds of tools they have all kinds of different tools too camping supplies hardware see the little mirror up there that's actually a security window from the back room american hardware stores paint but yeah they have everything basically so you still get those aims vibes in here from back in the day and that's what I love about this place. And I'll show you even more as soon as we get to it. 
we're just gonna take a little walk back here. I mean, look at all these old mail, all these old lunch boxes, mailboxes. <laughs> Annie, Flash Gordon, Bee Gees. Actually, that Flash Gordon one. <laughs> cool. So whether you're looking for knickknacks or you need tools or hardware, you're gonna find it all here. Right now we're in the hardware section. Like, and then there's like where the restrooms are and like offices. So it's cool to see an Ames still alive in a way. I'm digging these two right here. Chevrolet and pens. <laughs> Even the Escalade one if I had an Escalade. Yeah, see they even got plumbing supplies, screws, nails, all kinds of hardware. And as you can see, they utilize the entire store here. So this is just the hardware side. Let's go into more of the knickknacks as we get towards the center of this place. This is where more of like the flea market antique part of the building is. Lots of old movies and DVDs. Glasses. They have clothes. You might have seen a little snippet of what I want to show you here. They have clocks. Old glasses. Look at all the NASCAR stuff. The sports stuff. Check this out though, guys. You ready for it? You ready for it? How about that? Is that cool or what? Yeah. You know, if that wasn't bolted onto that fixture and they didn't actually use it for carpets, I would ask them if I could buy that sign. That would be so cool. But it's screwed on there. Looks like it's only held on with a couple of Phillips, but I would love to have that. More metal stuff here. Iron Maiden, Slayer Ghost, Motorhead. If you're into that kind of music, King Diamond, Venom. That's so cool. And then they got old metal CDs in here too. <laughs> I love this case. <laughs> satisfying it is to see people pushing around Ames cards in an old Ames. It almost feels like it's actually open. Even though it's not technically Ames anymore. It's so cool to see people pushing around Ames carts again. God, this white carpet that they have, that's just a nightmare waiting to happen. That's a major accident getting dirty and everything and I would not want to clean that at all. And see, they even have some small select groceries in here too. A lot of these are like dent, like like damage boxes that like retailers like Walmart and stuff won't sell just because a box is crushed. If that doesn't bother you, then here you go. Not too bad. But I just love seeing the aim stripe around this place. I mean, look, nothing's changed in here. But every time I see one of these, I'm just nostalgic. Yeah, this is a really great store with a little bit of everything for everyone. And there's furniture on the other side, and I'll show you that in a little bit here, too. Like I said, you'll find a little bit of everything. Clothes, gently used clothes, tools, other old toys, knickknacks. I We were here last week, and I actually found a couple of cool things which I bought. They were both Kmart-related. Look at a little Pepsi glass. Pretty neat. Look, old McDonald's ones too. <laughs> Look at the rooster, he's so flat. <laughs> Here's a couple of oldies for you. Kevin Harvick in the 29 car, but look at the old Burger King one. I actually used to have that in the 164 scale when I was a kid. That's cool seeing it in a 124 scale after all these years. Pretty neat. They even have old jewelry cabinets all full of old baseball cards, sports cards. Football cards, NASCAR cards. You see the old stickers here. All the glasses here. Plenty. Look at the old Kodak truck. Ernie Irvin. <laughs> you have a plenty. Dale Earnhardt. And I like this for puck holders, card holders. That's not bad. Little trucks in here. More collectibles if you're into sports. Boy, how about that, Dale Earnhardt car? Plenty here, though. Food line, Harry Gant, <laughs> Chevrolet. Look at the old Virginia plate. That is vintage. 
and they have plenty of license plates around here. I can't get that back in there. There we go. <laughs> they have plenty of other vintage items in here. Look at the old Pepsi signage over here. Look at that. And continuing on, it's just a treasure chest of items. I like the mountain bike. Roadmaster. It's not a bad bike. A little fixer upper. And see, there's furniture back there. I'll show you that as we get closer to that. I'm just trying to breeze through this place because if I showed you everything, we would be in here all day long. And when we were in here a week ago, we were in here for over an hour solid trying to glance at everything. Hosses. And it just, it took us a while. Okay, now let's head over here. See, now they got bedding, furniture. And I'll keep showing you a few things as we go along, too. Yeah, that's mainly all furniture, TVs, patio furniture, Christmas trees, you name it. The aim stripe on the wall. The A's are just, oh, I love it. I love seeing this. Walking around in the names that's not abandoned. Even though Ames is long gone, it still feels like one in here. And that's what makes this place unique, especially seeing the Ames cards just all around this place. Now that is cool. The cars, power wheels. I dig that. Check out this old Kmart final. We saw this last week. And the, the other car that I actually bought was on top of this one. It was uh, the Jimmy Spencer number 26 car, which you can see in the photo here. Yep, bought that. But there was this one as well. And this one was cool and all. But I really liked the other one. Oop, paper won't cooperate with me. Kids race against drugs. I picked the Jimmy Spencer one because, one, it shows Kmart on there a lot more, and because 26 is my number. <laughs> All kinds of old knickknacks and furniture. That, though, is creepy. <laughs> Very creepy. This was different. I saw this, too, as I was panning through the Presque Isle Lighthouse up in Erie. That's cool. Weird how it made it here. Oh, and here's Okra Coke Lighthouse right here. Very nice. I'm loving the old lantern. That's very cool. Old cans, old clocks. I showed you a couple of these items. Let's go back to the other side of the store and see what we can look at over there. It's not a dull moment here. I only hate that I live two hours away because I'd be here every weekend. Even if I don't buy anything every time I'm here. Just walking around and seeing what's new, if anything. Checking out what they have. We went down that aisle, too. We'll go up this one here. What the heck? I saw this last week, too. The wreath made of CDs. <laughs> and, yeah, and right now they have a lot of Christmas goodies. Wow, look at the vintage bathtubs. I see a bunch of Steelers jerseys, too. This is a cool place. <laughs> These Tommy Maddox. Jeez. Yeah, these are fake, too. That's all right. That one's cool, though. Paul Amalo, he was the man. A lot of old Steelers memorabilia. you got to remember, we're not far from Pittsburgh. Slim Jim Cup, Toy Liquidators, Coca-Cola, Baltimore Orioles, the Osbournes, jeez. <laughs> all the vintage toys in this cabinet here. Look at this old Hershey's candy dispenser here for 25 cents. They have Hershey's nuggets. I guess they're, I guess it actually works, even though these look old. That is awesome, though. There's some of those display cases I was telling you about. It's mostly toys in this one. If you'd like Star Wars, NASCAR, 
Coca-Cola goodies. That Steelers hat's nice. I like that. A Pepsi sign. Books. Coins. More books. Glassware. Very nice. Look at the old Amico plane. Yeah, it was pretty cool finding the items that we did. We actually even found a Kmart glass in here, too, commemorating the grand opening of the very first store, as you can see in the photo right now. Yeah, that was cool. I like the Chase Elliott truck. He's the champion until the NASCAR season starts. I got old movies. Old movies. Things I could break. An old camera. Jeff Gordon phone. <laughs> they have leather jackets here. Gloves, leather gloves, vests. I guess if you're a biker, that's cool. Weird combo because then you go into games over here. But check this out. I saw this last week too. Lights are us. And yes, they were sold at Toys R Us. How cool is that? Vintage. You know, I never even seen these before I walked into this building. I never seen these at Toys R Us in the past, so maybe because I really wasn't looking, but I never knew that even existed. The only things that doesn't exist for names are the old registers. They're actually across the street in a Goodwill. But they got this one set up here, which is okay. That's all right. At least the registers are still alive. I don't think they have all of them, but they have a few. But how are you guys liking this store? What do you think? So as you see more old gems and relics. I wish I could literally go through everything and show you everything they have. So you could get the thorough experience. Check out the old things up on the wall. Or the old uh, sports teams there. This must have been the snack bar area. Look. There's a kitchen, a sink. Wow. Yeah, this must have been the snack bar. Huh. Very cool. I'm probably not allowed back here then. <laughs> so I'll just back out of there, walking in the Christmas trees. And we'll go ahead and walk up this way. Yeah, probably not allowed back there, but that's okay books, cups, a lot of stuffed animals. Old, oh my gosh, my dad had this exact same lunchbox. He had the same one. Wow, that brings back some feelings there. That's cool to see that. Whoop, walking into things. <laughs> They got all kinds of movies, games, toys. A little camel camera. Jeez. <laughs> RC Cola cans, Iron City cans. Heinz Ward, that's cool. Old PlayStation 2 games. All right, now I just found something vintage. Davey Allison in the old Texaco car, but if that wasn't enough, look where it was sold at. Hills. It's the only one I see with the Hills tag on it too, because there, there's several, but that's the only one. They made their own like little makeshift snack bar here, it looks like. And they actually have drinks you can get in that cooler there. Like the hunting stuff up on the wall. The turkey, the deer, the old Jelly Belly guy. He's passed out on top of the hot dog warmer. <laughs> Check out the old PA plate. You don't see too many of these around. That and, wow, Winchester Speedway. We're not far from Winchester, maybe about an hour and a half or so, if that. Check that out, they have Robo Pen, and that's really cool. And that's nice, too bad it's all scratched up, but that is badass. That is cool. I found this little heater too from Kenmore. It's only $7.50 and we could use that in our bathroom. 
sometimes it gets a little cold in there in the winter time so for 750 i'll pick it up i just love the halloween penguins reusable bag that, that's probably like my favorite like mashup for the logo that they ever did that was back during the reebok days and i've wanted to find that shirt since and i haven't been able to but that is so cool which reminds me, as we're filming this, this is before the Steelers' playoff game against the Browns, so I don't know the outcome of that yet. But I will say I am excited for hockey season to start back up. Hockey starts this week. I almost forgot to show you the beds lettering that they have up on the wall there. Now, I don't know if that's from Ames or if that's original to the store before Ames, because I know this was something else before Ames. But still, that's vintage and that's cool. But I don't know if that's from Murphy's Mart or Ames. If this was even a Murphy's Mart, I feel like it was, but I could be wrong. But either way, I just I can't get over the A's all over the place. Aims all day, baby. <laughs> Creepy. I'm not gonna sleep for weeks. Polish Pittsburgh fan. All right, that's what I'm talking about right there. As someone that's a Polak like me, that's cool to see. All kinds of collector knives. They have throwing stars in there. Look at the little ones here. <laughs> we have old video games here. Nintendo, Xbox. They even have some jewelry in here. A little bit of something for everyone. More jewelry here. And yes, I'm pushing around an Ames cart in an old Ames. I haven't found paper towels for a buck fifty. I don't care. If we need them, I'll take it. <laughs> but it's so cool to do this walk down memory lane in an Ames, pushing an Ames cart for crying out loud. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm so happy to take that mask off. I don't think I've talked that much wearing a mask trying to do a video for you guys in a while. <laughs> so, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little tour here of the old Ames now hokey geez if you're in the bedford area come here support these people check them out it's only what about 16 miles west of breezewood which is the gateway to the south here if you're on the pa turnpike you could take the breezewood exit heck you could take the x i think on uh interstate 99 and ride that south to in uh, route 30 so yep yeah, right here on us route 30 hokey geez check them out it's an old ames you could take a walk down memory lane and find yourself some neat little gems so thanks for watching, everybody. We hope you enjoyed. And with that said, we're going to take off. So take care, everybody. Stay awesome. And have a Kmart. Let's just stay on her behalf. She's waiting to get in the car. She's cold. We'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.